Welcome to KBase, the Department of Energy Systems Biology Knowledge Base. KBase is a collaborative, open environment for systems biology analysis of plants, microbes, and their communities. In this video, we will demonstrate how to find and load data into a narrative. Locate the data panel on the left side of the screen. This panel shows all data loaded into this narrative. Click the Add Data button to open the data browser slide out. The data slide out can be opened or closed with the arrow on the top right. On the top of the slide out, there are many tabs with options for loading data into a narrative. The leftmost tab is My Data. This will show you all the data in KBase that is in one of your narratives. You can search your data and filter it by type or the narrative it is in. I will add a genome from my data that exists in another narrative. The Shared With Me tab contains data from narratives that have been shared with you by collaborators. It will be empty if no narratives with data have been shared with you. The Public tab provides direct access to public data that KBase periodically imports from several sources. Use the drop-down menu to select the type of public data to display. Let's add a genome from the reference data. Once it is added, you will see it shows up in our data panel. Now take a look at the example data. The example tab contains sample data that can be used to demonstrate KBase analysis tools. Use the import tab to upload data from a computer into your narrative. Use the drop down list to select the type of data you want to import. Let's add a genome. For this example, we will upload a GenBank file for an E. coli K12 genome from my desktop. If you want to upload a GenBank file from an FTP site, choose the Import from FTP tab. First, I will find the GenBank file on my computer to upload. Name the genome that will be added to the narrative. Select the source of the genome. Some uploaders have advanced options. For this genome, select Generate Feature IDs if needed. Once all fields have been completed, indicated by green check marks, start the import. After a few minutes, this will result in two data objects being added to the narrative. The first will be the E. coli genome, which contains both contigs and feature annotations. The second will be the assembly from the E. coli GenBank file, which contains the assembled contigs. Now let's upload some short reads into the narrative. Two tabs are shown at the top of the short reads importer. There is one for paired end reads and one for single end reads. For this example, we will upload paired end reads. There are two fields to select files. Paired end reads can be interleaved into a single file or contained in two separate files for the forward and reverse reads. If only the first file is populated, the reads file will be treated as an interleaved file. Give the reads a name. Make sure that the box for single genome is checked and then select the sequencing technology used to generate the reads. All fields are now complete and ready to start the import. After the import is complete, the paired end reads appear in the data panel. You have now seen how to find and load data into your narrative. In the next video, we will go over exploring and managing data in your narratives. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial videos.